the most revolutionary part actually of modern banking, so to say, is actually mobile. The way you can now open an account straight through, out the glass, on the mobile, in pretty much sort of under two minutes, end to end. And I think that's really exciting. That really changes how we engage with customers, the sort of experience customers get coming in through the front door. Uh, there has been an explosion since pretty much about 2009 when the first generation of mobile applications and mobile banks started to emerge both in Canada, approximate Western Europe and, and North America. Um, and the other big change is the data-driven approach we now take. We really know our customers and that means we can do some really exciting things. That whole phenomenon has now reached the point where fintech investment in London I think is standing at somewhere between 20 and 30 billion in this calendar year alone. So it's been a phenomenal growth rate and it shows no sign of, of slowing down. So that's the real thing. Can you sum up banking in 2020 in three words? Uh, I think it's an interesting time to ask the question. Um, before last week and the, uh, the political decision of the UK to leave the European Union, I would be say roaring away. Uh, now, looking at this again from a UK perspective, I'd say probably quite cautious. Banking in 2020, there will be a radical shift um, to the mobile. I think it's going to be integrated, seamless and very personalised.